Hey everybody, I'm Chef Tom with ATBBQ.com and this is Pork Tenderloin Pineapple Bowls. Today we're bringing you a recipe that combines pork and pineapple, which is a pretty fantastic combination. And this one kind of rides the line between American and Asian style barbecue. So let's get started by prepping up our pineapple and pork tenderloin. We're gonna start off by cutting our pineapple in half lengthwise, right through the stem, which we're gonna leave intact for presentation purposes, because we're gonna hollow these out and serve all of the toppings, all of the grilled ingredients inside of the pineapple. So we'll start here by making a cut down, just kind of cut out a square. And work the knife all the way under. Pop that out. That's a pretty good chunk. We left a little bit behind, but that's all right. All right, so the non-pretty stuff, that's for snacks, but you won't see the bottom of this during presentation, so that's gonna work just fine. I'm gonna kind of shave this off so it'll sit nice and flat for us. Go ahead and do the same thing with the other half go. So we got the pineapple bowls cleaned up just a little bit. This is the interior and this is what we're going to be grilling but we want to get rid of that core so we're just going to cut around the core here and we can discard the core and these pieces here will be grilling. All right so we got our pineapple spears that we're going to throw on the grill along with the pork tenderloin. Speaking of the pork, I'm really excited. Once again, we've got some Cheshire pork from our friends at Heritage Farms. So we're gonna open up this package, get these all prepped up and ready to go on the grill. So there we have it, good looking pork tenderloin. We're just gonna clean this up, take off some of the silver skin from the surface here. So I like to cut myself a tab, hold onto that tab, and then just gently work your way down. This is a good way to make sure you don't end up cutting yourself, give yourself something to hold on to. And the stuff that we're looking for is really just this thick silver skin like we see here at the end. Some of that thinner stuff down on the other end isn't going to uh, really affect the cook too much. It's not too chewy, it doesn't cause too many problems. All right, so that should be just fine for what we're doing today. Let's go ahead and get this thing seasoned up. Now before we get our Ozark Heat barbecue rub on here, we're gonna hit this with just a little bit of sriracha as a binder, just to kind of give the rub something to stick to, thin layer all the way around. You don't have to use sriracha, you could use mustard, you could use oil, anything that's just gonna help for this rub to stick to the pork. Now Ozark Heat's one of my favorite pork rubs, just a great all around barbecue rub. It's salty, a little bit of sweetness, great color to it. But remember this piece of meat, it's much smaller than say like a pork butt or even a pork loin. So we don't wanna to go too heavy on the seasoning and overpower it. Today we're cooking on the Yoder pellet grill. It's running at 450 degrees and it's set up for direct grilling with grill grates over the firebox. We'll start by getting our pineapple over the flame here. We're just gonna to look to get some char on the outside, a little bit of color. Give me some nice grill marks. And we'll throw our tenderloin down right next to it. Now for the time being, we're going to leave the door open so that we don't just completely break down the pineapple. We're just looking to get some color on the outside. Uh, we can always move our pork tenderloin around once that pineapple comes off. If we need to finish it indirect, we can finish it indirect. We've got options. So just continue to turn these and try and keep them over that flame so you can get a little bit of char, just a little bit of char on the outside for color and flavor. All right, we're gonna pull the pineapple off now. And kind of roll around our pork tenderloin. All right, starting to get some good color on there already. Now we just did the flip and checking the internal temperature now, see that we're just over 100 degrees. So we're going for 140 internal as a finishing temperature on our pork tenderloin. 
And I think because of that, we can go ahead and close the lid for a little bit. We want to make sure that we're getting some color on the outside while the internal temperature comes up at the same rate. So if you're concerned about that, just leave the lid open for a while. Cause like I said, you can always finish indirect, but have your instant read thermometer on hand, check where you're at and just follow along accordingly. So we're really getting some good char on the bottom side here. We're gonna turn this one more time and we should be getting close here in the next five minutes or so. 127 now. So we're just creeping up on 140 now. We're gonna pull this off and let it finish with the carryover cooking. I'm gonna give the pork just a few minutes to rest before we dice it up and build our bowls. And in that meantime, we're gonna whip up a little sauce to go on top. So we're gonna start off with a cup of the Smoke on Wheels bootleg barbecue sauce, which is a really cool barbecue sauce. It's bourbon infused, but it's got soy sauce and some tamarind in it as well. Really unique flavors. We're gonna add to that a quarter cup of sriracha, as well as a quarter cup of white miso paste. So this is fermented soybean paste. Great umami flavor, lots of salt. And we're gonna sweeten it up a bit with a quarter cup of pineapple juice. We give this all a whisk to incorporate everything. And this will be great for drizzling right on top of those pineapple bowls. Fantastic color as well. Ooh, that's unique. It's got just a little bit of bite to it from that sriracha. Lots of sweet, salty. Man, the miso is really kicking off though. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and break down our pineapple spears into bite-sized pieces. And we can move right into the pork tenderloin. Very nice. So just easy bite-sized pieces. We wanna get a little bit of the char on the outside, a little bit of that tender juicy flesh from the inside. Keep running that through those juices cause it'll soak them right back up. So let's go ahead and fill up these pineapple bowls. We're gonna start with a little bit of jasmine rice that we whipped up inside as our base. And then we'll just pile on top of that the pork, the pineapple, and then a drizzle of our sauce on top. And just finish all of that off with a little bit of green onion. So a layer of jasmine rice down on the bottom. Pile on the pork. And then the pineapple. Get our sauce, our Asian barbecue sauce on there. And finish with the green onion. All right, I'm digging in. I'm making a mess. I don't care. Oh, man. You'll never need a regular bowl again because this one has pineapple in it. It is pineapple. This is fantastic. It's sweet, it's spicy, it's tangy. You know, there's rice down there if you want it, but you know, the star of the show, that pork and that pineapple and all those flavors work together really well. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out atbbq.com for all of the products featured in today's video. If you enjoyed the recipe, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments or there's anything you'd like to see me cook, let me know in the comment section down below and let's be good to one another. For more recipes, tips, and techniques, head over to atbbq.com slash the sauce. All things barbecue, where barbecue legends are made.